Hello, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be getting the Carolina Panthers a Super Bowl championship, baby. They ain't done it yet, and I'm going to do it through a fantasy draft. So we're going to be going Carolina Panthers, starting point. Give me fantasy draft, baby. Fantasy draft, and head right into it, man. All right, I'm going to start the fantasy draft now. Start drafting. Let's see what pick we have. Pick number eight. Okay, so there still should be some decent quarterbacks available. Let's see. Dak Prescott. Brock Purdy is a demon in this game. Brock Purdy gets good really quickly. CJ Stroud. Oh, man. This is a tough pick. Okay, I want to see how old is Brock Purdy. He's like 23, isn't he? 22, 23. He's 23, and he's already superstar. I mean... His throw power is not great. His accuracies are amazing. His under pressure is pretty solid. Throwing run is pretty solid. He's not the fastest, but he gets pretty quick, pretty quick. If that makes any sense. I've actually never played with Brock Purdy. So I think with the number one overall pick for the Carolina Panthers, we are going to select Brock Purdy. Boom. 19th in true value, and we took them at number eight. I'm fine with that. Brock Purdy, bro. I've never used Brock Purdy in this game. That'll be fun. It'll be fun to use him. All right, so pick 25 now. Now here's where it starts getting hard. Typically, the first round is always, like, super easy. Okay, I'm going to go this guy because he's easily the best available. I think Chubb is here. I mean, I I'm not going to go quarterback right now. Jonathan Taylor is really good. So is uh, Kenneth Walker. Wide receiver. Are there any stud wide receivers? Left? Brandon Ayuk. Yo, I could bring Brandon Ayuk and Brock Purdy back together. Uh, how old is Ayuk? 25. Okay, how old is Devonta Smith? He's the next person I'm looking at. 24, so he's slightly younger. Not enough for me to really change my mind on uh, Ayuk. I mean... Puka's a dog, but... I think... J Let's see, Jalen Waddle is an absolute speed demon. I know that. 24. Okay, so I'm thinking Brandon Ayuk, bro. Bring the two back together, man. Why not? Brandon Ayuk will be our second round pick. And the next round, we're going to have to go defense. It's a good pick by one. By one. I've never gotten it. Except for, like, Lamar Jackson going number one because um, he's the most valuable player in this game, according to Madden. I've never really gotten, like, a... That's a perfect... Like, a spot on. That's exactly where you should have taken him. Uh, Yeah, I'm not... Not not too worried about running back right now. Uh, let's see. Can I get a stud middle linebacker? Not really. They're they're kind of they're kind of old now. Let's see. Right outside linebacker. I mean, I could Brian Burns, Jeremiah Usu Koromora, be pretty solid. Left outside linebacker, Dino Hunter. It's really. How about D line? Is there any stud D tackles? I mean, Vita Vey is a stud. Vita Vey is a stud. Right end, Cameron Hayward. Left end, Justin Matabuike. Hmm. Corners? Oh, I, I went to free safety. Minka, Antony, Antony Winkfield, Javon Holland's really good in this game. Let's see, strong safety. Buda Baker, Teleno Hufunga. Ooh, Kyle Hamilton, bro. Six foot four. Six four, 22 years old, I'm going to draft him. I know that was a stretch, but I don't care. Six foot four, and he's only twenty two years old, and he's already an eighty eight. He's a stud. And then I'll pr I I would like to get man Trent Williams off the board right there. He's probably the first lineman. Well, I think there's a ninety nine lineman, so he's not the first, but one of them. Um, man, Antonio Winfield would be pretty solid. Strong safeties. Talanoa who fun oh wait we just got a solid strong safety. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, actually, I'd probably wait around and go maybe Justin Simmons, if he's still there, or Javon Holland, possibly. Let's look at corner, though. Charverius Ward is Stardev. I don't know why, but he is. Jalen or Jalen McDuffie. Trent McDuffie is here. Super young. Pretty darn solid. Yeah, 22 years old. I'll have to go Trent McDuffie, bro. We're getting this pass defense way up. We're going to have some of the best passing defense in the league, I feel. I hope so, anyway. I hope so. All right, maybe we could get a solid running back here. Our linebackers are going to have to suffer a little bit. I don't know. Just if you don't have, like, a very, very top pick, I feel like you don't really get a great linebacker. 
Uh, I Isaiah Pacheco still here. Uh, Isaiah Pacheco. You know, I think I go Isaiah Pacheco, man. I mean, he runs funky looking, but 23 years old, star dev. I mean, super fast. We're going to go Isaiah Pacheco here. A little bit of a reach again. Not too worried about that. Isaiah Pacheco is now on the team. Got to look at a linebacker or a D-line now. Middle linebacker, C.J. Mosley will be here. Ooh, Patrick Queen. I don't think he'll still be here next round, so I'm going to have to take him here. Patrick Queen is pretty darn good. Yeah, good pick. Good pick. No free safety, though. Oh, Javon Holland's still here. Uh... I think I think he's the one. Javon Holland's pretty darn good. Javon Holland. A good pick by 60. Wow. Nobody wanted to pick Javon Holland for some reason. I mean, it's already... I mean, it's They're all solid. I'll, I think Joel Batonio, how old is he? 31. Yeah, he's young enough. He's still... He'll still got a few years in him. Probably. Hopefully. We're going to go him. And then we're going to see if Dalton Kincaid is still here. If Dalton Kincaid is gone, we obviously won't take him. Okay, Kincaid's still here. I'm going to pick him. And then that means... I know I was looking at him earlier and I completely forgot about him. Uh, Kalijah Kansi should still be here. Kalijah Kansi should still be there, I believe. I mean, basing off of... I just picked a 79 overall rookie with Hidden Dev. So I'd expect a 77 overall with Hidden Dev to still be here. And no, unless he's a right end. Nope, he's not here. Ouch, man. How old is Grady Jarrett? 30. Hey, he's serviceable for one year. We'll take him. I feel like I'm not being very responsible with these picks. Kind of kind of just mid at this point. Josh Downs, I could get the rookie. And you know what? Um, I think I'll do that. Hidden Dev? Why not? Good pick by 118. That might be the biggest good pick I've ever gotten, to be honest. I think we're going to have to take Kobe Turner as our, as our number one D-tackle, man. Yeah, a stretch of 200 and... 200 and... Or about 190 picks there. I didn't expect it to be a great pick, according to them. I'm only going to probably do up to like 20 draft picks, and then I'll simulate the rest, because I just don't need to do everything. Normal dev, I know that. Boom. Reached 200 picks on him, I don't really care. Alright, so... I'm looking to probably get another corner here. Maybe. We'll see. Just saw a rookie hidden dev went off the board, so that means there should be some decent players. I don't get why Deron Bland is normal dev, and nobody ever picks him because he's normal dev. So, I'm gonna go Deron Bland, bro. It's a little bit cheeky, but I mean, he's still here, and he's only like 24. 24 normal dev. Like, yeah, I got him a 60 picks after he should have gone. That's, I mean, that's realistic. He should have gone quite a bit earlier. I don't know why he's normal dev. Doesn't make much sense to me, but hey, we'll take two stud cornerbacks. Doesn't matter that one of them's normal dev. Um, man, I am not loving this anymore in terms of who's here. Left us a linebacker. Boy, I'm off is still here. Let's see, right out. Is Jelani Talai here? Jelani T Tavai, not Talai, my bad. Jav Jelani Tavai, we're going to take him here. And then we're going to take Boye Mafe as our other outside linebacker uh, with our next pick. If he's still available, bro. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought that was Brian Brandt for a little bit. That just got picked. I'm like, an 84 hidden dev safety just got picked, so there should still be some solid players. Bobby Wagner being here. Come on, man. Somebody got to pick up Bobby. Yeah, and this is the perfect one to take Boye Mafe because he probably would be gone next round. Six foot four, 24 years old, normal dev. We'll take it. We will take it. Need a center. And Connor Williams is literally just sitting here waiting for me to pick him up. I know he's normal dev, but he's kind of like 27, 26. Boom. So we got a good center, a good left tackle, or or right tackle, and a good left guard. So I'm I'm feeling good about this draft so far. I think our team's pretty solid. Uh, Puna Ford, he's like 28, 27. He's 5'11", holy cow, 5'11", 3'10". Dude is small. We'll take him as our backup, backup D tackle, I guess. Twenty five. We'll take him honestly. We'll take him. Forty picks early. I don't really care. You nearly never get like good picks this late into the draft. So we'll take that. And then this is our last pick of the draft. I think it'll have to be another middle linebacker. 
uh, just to have a backup. I mean, Alex Singleton is a fine backup. I'm not asking this man to start. He won't even play that much. Boom. Take that, man. 40 picks early. I don't really care too much. All right. So 20 picks in. And we're going to simulate the draft, man. See what the computer can do for us, man. I'm, I'm excited to see this team. It seems... I feel like we're going to be pretty good. All right. Somebody wants to mentor a rookie. Uh, is this like... Brennan Ayuk wanting to mentor Josh Downs, please. That'd be pretty good. Please. It's an option. Yes, Brennan Ayuk. Long-term development, man. Um, can I switch it over? Please. Please let me switch it over. I don't want to do immediate impact. Let me switch it over. Come on. It's not letting me move it. Okay. There we go. I got it. Holy cow, I thought it was going to really mess me up there. Not let me sing and do what I want to do. All right, yeah, whatever. I don't really care about all this. But he'll have some long-term development. That's pretty solid. And let's see. I, I know what all this stuff is, bro. Okay, so this line is not bad. They got us Charles Leno, who's old. And they got us a 71, which isn't awful. And they got us Cordell Patterson. So, cool. Uh, we got Rashid Shahid, who I wanted to draft anyway. I just wasn't going to draft him with the top 20 pick. Uh, Josh Downs and then Brandon Ayuk. And then Dalton Kincaid and nobody else, but we don't really use too many backup tight ends, I think. Defensively, it's looking a little rough. Our corners are good. Uh, I mean, 89, 88, 77, 75, pretty solid. Our, our safeties are good. Our linebackers are decent. Nothing crazy. I do like Patrick Queen, though. And then our line is also nothing crazy. I don't know how our defense is better than our offense. But also, I think we need to change the schemes, maybe. Uh, I just don't know Carolina's offense. Uh, the play This playbook is built on power run West Coast scheme. The goal of this playbook is to wear down defenses by using consistent misdirection and pass deep frequently to keep defenses honest. Um... I think we'll keep this for now, for now. Um, I'm not going to keep it the whole time, probably. Um, and then we'll keep the Carolina defense. West Coast spread, yeah, whatever. Uh, this is built on a West Coast power run, so we're actually going to go to that. West Coast power run. Fits the team a slightly bit more. Actually, can I... Uh, no, so we're going to use Carolina at the beginning. We'll go, whatever, base 4-3. Base 3-4. I don't know why our schemes aren't the right ones. This is a base 3-4. So we'll have four linebackers out on the field. Let me check real quick. I don't I don't think so. Yeah, we don't. Uh, but So it'll be Alex Singletary, Patrick Queen, man in the middle, and then Boya Mafia and Jelani Tabai. Man, I mean, this team is pretty good, man. Honestly. Um, special, special teams. Yeah, we didn't have a kicker or a punter, so cool. I got us some. Cordo Patterson is our return man, obviously. Absolute goat. And then specialist, let's see. Brennan Ayuk is our slot wide receiver. Um, I think we'll keep it him this year, and then next year we're going to change it to Josh Down so he can get progression, hopefully. Third down running back is uh, Cordo Patterson, but Isaiah Pacheco is our power back. How good is Pacheco at power back? Like, how good is he in general? Okay, 86 elusive back, 85 power back. Okay, so he's pretty, he's a very all-around good player. Um, he doesn't have a great stiff arm. He's good trucking. That's good. I like, I like running and trucking. That's all I do, really. Whenever I run, just run, truck, and hope you go through somebody. And then Pac, uh, uh, Patrick Queen is our sub linebacker. Slot corner is Benjamin St. Juiced. Our rushers are fine. Um, I think I might want to change, do we have any young, young corners or, or safeties I would like to progress that aren't already starters? No. Okay. So, oh, excuse me. Uh, this team's pretty solid, I'd say. A good first episode to this series. Uh, by the way, this is going to be a series, and I'll just simulate to the regular season real quick. All right, so I'm going to set seasonal goals. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about, holy cow. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to set it to seven wins. That seems about reasonable. I, I hope to make the playoffs, but there's obviously no guarantees. So, 
there's no way for me to know. Uh, choose draft class. We're going to keep it auto-generated. I want this to be an own realm of its own, and obviously starting with a fantasy draft, it already is. Uh, so we're going to do that. Holy cow. Okay, I'm going to turn off these stupid pop-ups telling me how to play the game. Dude, I know how to play this game. I've been playing it for a couple months now. Okay, we're decked out. Got all my settings right, except for the gameplay settings. I will put on custom settings for that. And uh, let's see. Opening day, hire. Yeah, we're going to do all of this next episode. Actually, I'll just upgrade the players right now. Because that doesn't really matter for next episode. Look into it. Brandon Ayuk has an upgrade. Nice. I think we're going to go slot. Uh, playmaker, let's just go for scheme fit, man. Go scheme fit. He went up over one overall in slot anyway. Let's see. Plus two ball carry vision, plus three break tackle, plus one juke, plus one mid, and plus one spin. Or plus two spin. Pretty good ability. Oh, man, man. He's not the quickest, but I feel like he'll still be pretty good. How Joel Batonio gets an upgrade. We'll go power. Just scheme fit. Um, I'll be pretty happy with that. Let's see. One awareness, one impact, one lead, one run, and one and plus two power uh, run block. Pretty solid. Um, Alex Singleton gets an upgrade. Nice. That's actually pretty big. Um, field general is what they like. That is... Um, Play rec, pursuit, and tackle. We'll just go with that. And uh, let's see. Plus one block shed, plus one play rec, plus one tackle, and plus two zone coverage. That's pretty good. I mean, for a backup, he's not, or for, I get, well, technically he's not a backup, but he's basically the backup. He's pretty solid. And then our right end, uh, who's actually starting, Julian Okora, gets an upgrade. Let's just go, let's just go scheme fit, Mero. Try to get the scheme fit for everybody. Plus two awareness, plus two block shed, plus one play rec. I believe he's starting. I mean, he's only 25, so he has time to progress. 86 speed, 89 excel, that's pretty quick. And then our backup right outside linebacker, Inig Bear, has an upgrade. I guess I'll just go pass coverage or whatever. I don't really care because he's very, very rarely going to play. So I'm not too worried about that. He's only 23, though, so maybe uh, maybe, maybe you could get a dev trade upgrade eventually. I don't know. But that is it for this first episode, a.k.a. The, just the fantasy draft of this series. I'll be trying to get one of these out every week. Probably one every week. Oh, hold up. I'll try to be getting one of these videos out every week and then also like a re rebuild of some sort out every week as well. Um, I'm trying to pump out a little bit of content for you guys. I know I was gone for a long time. My PC had completely broken. Then I was sick for a long time. And I'm trying to get back into the group of things, getting back into grinding the videos, Editing, which I hate editing, bro. Holy cow, it's so annoying sometimes. But trying to get back into things. Uh, gonna be posting this probably around once a week, as I said. Try to get some rebuilds out too. Till next time, guys. Peace.